Nearly a week after a local school board treasurer suddenly resigned tonight, more calls for accountability. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. Sources say booster club funds are missing in the Brownsville Area School District. Now the board is saying it probably won't be able to find out how much was allegedly taken. KDK's Jennifer Barresto talked to club leaders who really want some answers. A lot of emotion tonight. People are angry. One booster club member says they may have lost $2,500. The superintendent met with booster club members before tonight's school board meeting, saying that the district cannot demand an audit. They do not have jurisdiction. So booster clubs will look at their books if they want to and meet again with the district to figure out what they do next. After story of red flags about a Brownsville school board member who resigned last week. She worked as the school board treasurer. Matthew Morgan is associated with Brownsville Midget Football. This person, um, I don't know if we could say it's a she, but uh, had personally come to us and tried to get involved with us. We did not allow it, but they did use their position on the board. Tabitha Silbaugh, the treasurer of the Lady Falcons basketball team, said the treasurer asked for booster club information shortly after she was elected last year. She asked for every booster bylaws, every booster's financial records. KDK is not naming this Brownsville school board member who resigned last Friday because there have been no criminal charges filed. KDK first reported Cheryl Taravecchia, the vice president of the board, said the school board treasurer allegedly told booster clubs that a school board member had to be on their accounts. Once she had access to those accounts, she allegedly used money for personal use. Brownsville's solicitor says the Board of Education doesn't have the jurisdiction to force an audit to force booster clubs to open up their books because there has been no misuse of any district controlled funds. But Tara Vecchia says she's not going to stop pursuing answers and accountability. At first I had heard over $100,000 and that's what irates me because I feel that that is stolen from the children. Anybody that could steal off a child like they do in Russia, they need their hands cut off. And if it was a child stealing from her, I'm sure that she would be mad about it. Booster Club members will meet with the district later this month. Meantime, I reached out to the school board member who resigned last week. She did not return my call. Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.